Hi y'all, this is Ranger Jonah with DeKalb County. I'm here at Mason Mill today taking a stroll and a bicycle ride on the South Peachtree Creek Trail. And what I thought I'd do today is show you a tree that's in that's fruiting right now uh, that uh, many of us know and love, but you may not have looked very closely at. It's the American persimmon. And I'm right next to one right here. Let me let you take a little closer look at it. This is a very small specimen of an American persimmon. So it's this one right here. And the easiest way at this time of year to tell a persimmon is to look for its fruit. Ah, there's one. See it right there? It's not ripe yet. And this tree sometimes has some fruit that never really ripen up until a frost but this is an easy one for us to get close to because it's so short uh, let me give you a couple tips on how to identify it one of the first things you can look for with a persimmon tree besides the fruit is whether the leaves are opposite or alternate and with a persimmon the leaves are alternate i don't know if you can see with this video but first there's one leaf that comes out of one side of the branch then out of the other side then from the other side, then from the other side. That's one of the first things you can learn about botany is whether the leaves are alternate or opposite, where they both come out of the same node but on the opposite side of the branch. Or another option would be whorled, where the leaves grow in kind of a circular pattern. A good example of that is an umbrella magnolia. So persimmon are alternate. So I found one piece of fruit here, but as far as I've been able to tell, we have three persimmon trees growing in Mason Mill Park. Now, persimmons are dioecious. I think I'm saying that right. That means some of the trees are female and some of the trees are male. And as far as I've gathered, we of course know that this one is female, that there are two female persimmons growing here in Mason Mill and one male persimmon. It never fruits, but it does put out flowers. The thing that's so amazing is that both of the female persimmon trees are at least as the crow flies a quarter mile, maybe even a half mile away from that male tree. And yet they still produce fruit. So I'm going to walk down the South Peachtree Creek Trail just a little bit further. And when I get to this other female persimmon tree, which is laden with fruit right now, we'll go a little closer and take a look. Come on with me. Okay, if you're looking for a really great persimmon tree at Mason Mill, then you come to the railroad bridge. Right behind me is a large persimmon tree, and I'll turn the camera around so maybe you can get a glimpse of how much fruit is up there. Do you see all that persimmon fruit dangling in the tree? And now I'm gonna go down off the railroad bridge and we're gonna see if we can find some to eat. Here we are underneath the railroad bridge, see? <laughs> and which means we're right next to this persimmon tree. It also means that if we look on the ground, oh yeah, we will likely find some persimmons. How do we know if a persimmon is ready to eat? Well, first of all, it does have to be a nice kind of uh, orangey golden tangerine color, <laughs> but this one, it is not nearly squishy enough. You want your persimmons, if you're gonna eat them, to be as ripe as possible. If I put this one in my mouth, it would be so astringent that, oh, it would make my mouth pucker up. It's like this combination of, well, I guess astringent's the right word. So you gotta be really careful and only eat persimmons when they get super wrinkly and almost like they were gonna fall apart in your hands. I think I see one back here. I found one, I'm gonna take off my mask because now it's time to enjoy a uh, American persimmon. Now I read that some people oftentimes call these uh, sugar plums because they are so laden with sugar. Uh, once they're fully ripe, which this one is, it is so, so sweet. Mm. It'll give you a head rush of sugar if you eat too many of them. Mm. Y'all, American persimmons are delicious. Anytime you eat something in the wild, be 100% sure 
that you know what it is. But gosh, this one is delicious. Mm. This is Ranger Jonah with DeKalb County. Mm. Signing off. Mm.